Hi, I'm Katrina, Katrina the cat. I'm here to tell you about my powers and my backstory. I have the same powers as my sister, Lavinia, an elastic hair that can stretch more than 12 feet, mimicking voices and shielding and sleeping powers. Basically, Lavinia and I are twins. We do look alike. We have the same colored hair, the same colored eyes, and the same necklace. However, we're completely different. Lavinia likes the color green, while I like the color red. And she likes to, and she likes to paint and draw, while I like music. Now let me tell you my backstory. I was born in the cat kingdom when my mother, Lucy the cat, aka the cat queen, and Joseph the cat, aka the cat king. I was actually born after Lavinia, making her older, only by a minute. But after I was born, my mother had to send me away to the cat orphanage. The reason being was to protect me from Joseph, because she feared that my life would be on the line. At the orphanage, the orphans hardly played with me because they looked at me as different. I was very lonely. However, Lavinia the cat was always there to play with me whenever she was available to do so. Me and my caretaker named Nana would, would either come over to the castle to play with Lavinia and her friends or would have her and the cat queen over to the garden for some tea. Nana was one of the caretakers who actually cares about, cared deeply about me and was always there to keep me company. She would allow me to play either chess or go fish with her and the other kind caretakers whenever my fellow orphans wouldn't let me play with them. I considered her as, as a grandmother because she knew how to knit, cook, and clean. When I was 12 years old, I was heard by Lavinia that our mother died from NIDS. Not very many people in the kingdom heard about it, but it is known to be an incurable disease. I was saddened and heartbroken by her passing. She told me that I, Lavinia told me that I was her younger, her younger twin sister at birth, but I was sent to the orphanage to prevent me from being one of my one of our father's servants. That night, after I received the news, I met my guardian angel named Shadow the Hedgehog. He would come to the orphanage at night to check up on me to see if I'm okay. If I wasn't, he would comfort me with comforting and kind words, along with holding my hand. One day, while Lavinia was gathering water from the well, she spotted a robot named Bokun. She, she took him to me because she must have realized I had no friends except for herself, Nana, and Shadow. We went to Philip Black, Philip's blacksmith place to check, him, to check on him. Philip the cat was a very kind blacksmith cat who would do anything to help his fellow workers or others. He managed to fix Bokun up with adding more oil into his machine into his engine with, uh, with an automatic oil gaining process. I was, I was the first Bokun saw, so he thought I was his owner. After hearing his story of him being kicked out by a mustache young man named Dr. Eggman, I gladly took him in. Two years after I called Bokun my robot, he and I decided to go to Station Square. We, along with Lavinia, planned an escape route to Station Square prior to that because the Cat Kingdom is falling apart du during our father's reign. And she told me that I would be the next servant who would be overworked and untreated. One day, we left the orphanage with a big help from Nana. She guarded us on our way from there to the gate that leads to the outside world outside of the kingdom. Once we arrived to Station Square, I worried for my older twin's safety and Bokun at the same time. 
We met up with Shadow the Hedgehog again, and he took me to the Team Dark private home in Night Babylon. A few days later, we decided to go to the Chaotix, where we became honorary members. We were needed when necessary until we stopped Eggman from destroying Station Square's greenhouse to replace it with the robot factory. It was that mission we became official members. Soon afterwards, I reunited with my sister, Lavinia, and we became Sonic the Hedgehog's foster sisters after his dad and stepmom adopted us. I am enjoying my time with the Chaotix, where I get to solve mysteries and help those in need. I even have a boyfriend. His name is Espio the Chameleon. I also became a sister figure to Bokun and Charmy. Vector treats me with respect, as I do with him. As for Shadow, I still consider him as a guardian angel. We would still chat with each other whenever I need some advice or need just a friendly chat. Whenever I'm not busy with missions, I like to unwind and hang out with Lavinia. We also like to go shopping with our friends. I have gained friends after lacking of having any friends for so long, and I'm enjoying it. This is Katrina the Cat, signing off. Catch you later!